Okay, so I wanted to do this video for uh, some of you having a problem with uh, the Xbox 360 Slim uh, when the red dot error occurs, <clears throat> which has also been called the red dot of death, uh, which occurs on the Xbox 360 Slim uh, in several different instances. Uh, really what it is, is uh, it's a ground fault that occurs when the current is applied, the Xbox 360 is shut down certain areas of the Xbox to continue or to keep you from damaging it when current is added. So the red light is there because something um, went bad and it doesn't know whether it's repaired or not. So it leaves it there to you to reset the Xbox or um, you fix the problem. So um, one of the two major issues is um, overheating. Uh, well, actually, it's three overheating. Um, improper setting of the um, hard drive that comes with the Xbox 360 Slim upon shipping. Sometimes it comes um, dislodged and it's in there incorrectly. And you have to remove the hard drive and then place it back in. The, uh, the other is um, uh, when the, the, um, the heat sink um, that sits on top of the processor um, doesn't have uh, sufficient heat transfer. So in the next box, you have the fan, you have a heat sink on there that's made to absorb the heat from the processor that's underneath of it. So usually you have to remove all this stuff. Um, I've actually already repaired this one. And uh, once I remove the hard drive, we took out the SATA cable and the power for the, for the DVD uh, ROM drive. Uh, remove the fan trout. Let's just pull that off. And you can take out the hard drive um, carrier here. Now pull out the connector for the motherboard. And now you have the uh, heat sink fan, heat sink, and under, underneath the CPU, GPU, I guess all built in one for the slims. I'm not sure exactly, but um, you have to remove this. You have to take out the screws that are usually here, which I removed, um, but now there are screws in the bottom of here. Um, I'll show you. After I took it out, let me get it out of here. So got the Wi-Fi in there. Four screws here washers under here for spacing gap be plastic on the board metal between the the heat sink and the washer and um, I cleaned it and added um, heat sink paste back to it put it back on then one other thing you have to do and this is the most important thing to get it working again you have to take this power cable off from the fan Put the power back in here. Put the video back in. Power on the Xbox 360 after you place the RF module back in. You can power back on either with your sync, your already sync controller, or hook the hook the front basal back up and power hit the power or eject. It'll power back on. Because this is disconnected the processor will overheat and shut down. This is also a reset for the board. Resetting Xbox 360 will actually help it to power back on in its initial state before the error. After it's overheated for about 15-20 minutes, I wait for it to completely cool for about a half hour to 40 minutes. Plug this cable back in Like this. Place the power back in. Power the Xbox 360 Slim back on. And you should have a working Xbox again. As I said, I've already repaired this one. And it had the red dot of life. Oh, excuse me, the red, the red dot of death, rather. So let's um, plug it back on. And um, Although I can't show you that um, it was already had the red dot, because you know I um, repaired it already before I did the video. 
And uh, let's see how it uh, looks. Add the RF module back to it. Grab my Xbox 360 controller, which I synced to it after I got it working. I'm going to power it on. Look at that. It's on the working. See if we can uh, turn to the video. And there you go. Up and running. So I'll switch back to the TV real quick so I can see the video. And um, I'm going to just. Um, Unplug this to power it off. So, basically, to summarize, um, you have to reset this. If you don't reset the processor, you can't get rid of the red ring. Sometimes it just needs to be cleaned. Clean the pro clean the processor. Sometimes it gets dried and um, it doesn't offer a sufficient um, transfer of heat. So. You have to um, remove this. Um, you're going to take out those four screws once you get the whole Xbox 360 um, um, apart. There's plenty of videos on the, on um, YouTube so you can see how to actually take apart the Xbox 360. Uh, make sure you don't use any of the ones, follow any of the videos that require you to break this. You don't break this off. These holes here have... Um, tabs in them. You use a screwdriver inside of them to pivot these tabs. As you can see, there's a tab there. Don't break this. Once it pulls off, it's broken for good. There's no repairing it. So, don't follow those videos. Anyway, as I said, <clears throat> this or the um, hard drive causes the red dot error. Uh, along with uh, overheating, which is also part of this. But after you do uh, the cleaning, you still have to do the reset. And that's um, taking out the power, powering it on, and leave it there till it is overheated and the Xbox 360 will shut off. The Xbox 360 Slim will shut off on its own. Wait for about 25 minutes to 40 minutes. It should cool down completely. Hook this back up and Place the RF back here. Put the power in. Make sure when you put the power in, that the flat part here is facing up. Not like that. The rounded part up. That is incorrectly uh, put in if you do that. There is no, there is no um, guide here to make sure you put it in correctly. It will go in either way. So make sure the flat piece is up before you plug it in. And you can do this before you put the whole thing and reassemble it all back together before you find out you didn't do it correctly. If you didn't do it correctly, um, you'll have to um, reset it again. You can also uh, try going over with a hot, uh, hot, glu uh, hot um, gun. Uh, five minutes, five minutes on low, ten minutes on high for this side. Let it cool down 15, 20 minutes. Do the other side, five minutes on low, ten minutes on high. And there's a lot of other videos that are, you know, for the old Xbox, so 10, 20 minutes, that's, that's not required. Uh, make sure you remove all the plastic parts before you do that. And then always do your reset. Your reset will get your Xbox 360 up and running every single time. If it red dots again, then there's something else wrong. That's your ground fault occurring, telling you that there's something not repaired. Check the board for metal, metal pieces or anything contact. Clean the board. Take a toothbrush with 70% um, or 90% alcohol and scrub the board both sides. That'll get rid of loose debris or anything that's contacting areas. Um, some calcium buildup sometimes occurs on dry. I don't even know where it comes from, but I've seen it. Um, I use a magnifying glass to look at my boards like this. It has a, another second magnifying area so I can even look closer at some of the solder points. The Xbox 360 Slim has was supposed to have that fix where lead has been added to the solder so that there's no cracks. 
um, causing um, the Red Ring of Death in the old Xbox 360. But I found that there were small um, cracked um, points on this board, uh, mostly on the bottom. So I ran the heat gun over it. This board works great now, and I've updated it. So um, thank you for watching my video. And um, thanks for um, watching my channel and um, like my video. My name is Dante.